The giant theropods were some of the most terrifying terrestrial predators that ever evolved and definitely the apex of their ecosystems, but they weren't the only large predators that terrorized Mesozoic's landscape. But there was one species of crocodile morph called the Barusuchus, which was a large predator which terrorized late Cretaceous South America, particularly Brazil. It was a large to medium-sized predator, could reach three to three and a half meters in length, with some large estimates setting a large size of four meters and 400 kilograms. It was fully terrestrial, unlike modern crocodilians, which are semi-aquatic, was also distantly related to them. Barusuchus had a relatively big bite force, but to make up for it, it had extremely serrated and blade-like teeth, which were very well used for slicing through flesh. Similar to monitor lizards and large predatory sharks, the limbs of Barosuchus and its relatives were erect and straight, unlike modern crocodilians, which have semi-erect limbs. But this may indicate that Barosuchus and its relatives were endothermic, but closer studies on the bone histology of Notosuchians indicate that Barosuchids were ectothermic or cold-blooded, but still they possessed much higher metabolisms than most living reptiles comparable to monitor lizards, which are very active for ectothermic standards and include the massive Komodo dragon, which is fully terrestrial and an apex predator. Barosuchus lived in a very diverse ecosystem in the Adamchinia formation which was in Brazil during the late Cretaceous period. It was a semi-arid floodplain. It was dominated by large to medium-sized sauropods, which Barosuchus would have definitely predated on, and also the ornithopods. As they were much smaller than sauropods, they would be much more likely targets for Barosuchus. But the true apex predators of the Adamchinia formation were the abelisaurids. As Barosuchus would have hunted the smaller and younger sauropods, the large abelisaurids would have hunted the adults of larger sauropods. There are also some eggshells assigned to the genus, which may indicate that Barosuchus laid much less eggs compared to modern crocodilians. That may indicate that it invested more into parental care than laying a lot of eggs. Although modern crocodilians do lay a lot of eggs and take care of their young, but very few make up to adulthood. This may indicate that Barosuchids were very good parents. The Barosuchus is the namesake of its family, the Barosuchidae, which also includes other large predators such as the Rodisuchus and the smaller Campaniosuchus, and such as the bizarre Armadillosuchus. Barosuchus wasn't a single species but a genus that contained multiple species. The closest relative of the Barosuchids was Sipekids, which were massive predators and some of them dwarfed even the largest Barosuchids. They lived during the Cenozoic era in South America and Europe. Some of them, such as Barinosuchus, could reach 6 meters and 1.6 tons. It is also certainly possible that Barosuchus hunted its smaller relatives. There is also evidence that Barosuchids dig burrows. Similar to modern crocodilians, they are used to escape the extreme heat or for hibernation. As there are many Barosuchus, skeletons completely preserved, which may indicate that they were completely shielded away from predators and the elements. But because of its lower metabolism than the contemporary theropods, it would most likely have been an ambush predators like modern crocodilians and monitor lizards to conserve as much energy as possible and running very fast for short bursts. It is also possible that Barosuchids might have occasionally hunted in packs to bring down much larger prey similar to modern day Cuban crocodiles which are known to occasionally cooperate and hunt in packs. So it is possible that the Barosuchus might have also occasionally hunted in packs but they were predominantly solitary hunters. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something interesting. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like to see more. And of course, have a great day.
If you have any suggestions, you can write in the comment section below.